your Precision 18 forecast. News 18, weather from where you live. We're tracking a few of these high clouds coming in from the west. More importantly, thicker clouds off to our south. These are high and mid-level clouds, and eventually some low-grade dreary clouds are going to come up from the Gulf of Mexico and turn us uh, kind of cloudy by tomorrow afternoon. Now, when you look at this, this is a very good setup typically for a winter storm in our area. We've got the northern branch of the jet right here with the disturbance here in the Rockies right there. And then you get the subtropical jet right here coming into Texas. And where you get a phasing here, a lot of times you'll form a storm right here in Colorado. It'll drop into Texas and then right up into our area with ice and snow. Now, here's the thing. We're going to get mainly rain out of this. Some snow by Friday night and Saturday, but mainly rain because we're missing an Arctic high. When you have a situation like that, you need an Arctic high kind of right in this zone to bleed the cold air in. Well, the Arctic air, the really bitterly cold air is really tightly locked up here near the Arctic Circle. That's the polar vortex. It's very tight right now. So the cold is contained like a wall. The only area where that wall is weaker and the cold air is coming out of it is out here in Alaska. That's where the really cold air is and it goes back towards Siberia and parts of China for that matter. For us, mild night. We rise to near 40 by tomorrow morning. We're headed for upper 40s to as high as 51 tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night, we're in the upper 40s to around 50, pretty steady. But then watch what happens Friday, upper 40s early. And then during the afternoon, temperatures begin to fall. So by 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, we're right around freezing in our northwest counties and down to the upper 30s at Lafayette. So clouding up tomorrow, a little scattered shower action, mainly in the southeast late in the day, and it will be a breezy to windy day. And then some scattered rain and even a little fog around as we end the week. 40 by late in the afternoon on Friday after 47 during the morning hours. Here is tomorrow. Notice the clouds coming up from the south. We become cloudy. A few showers in the southeast. It's showery tomorrow night. It is showery on Friday as well. And then we start to see the changeover. This is Friday evening. And into Friday night, showers change to some snow. Can't rule out a little very minor accumulation on Saturday. But in terms of rainfall, I've cut the totals back. Originally with eight tenths to about an inch and a half of rain, it's more like about a third of an inch to maybe eight tenths of an inch because a lot of the water is going to get sucked up by up to seven, eight inches of rain down in Mississippi and Alabama. So this is kind of a trend of your rainfall totals on Saturday. Normal high, 34. The only Typical day would be Saturday and then Tuesday, and then we get some cold air to kind of sneak in here by Wednesday finally with a high of 27. But even today, highs up in the 40s, Meredith. Not I know, bad. it was super chilly this morning, but I was yeah. so happy to see the sun came out. It was a great way to welcome in 2020. It was, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks so okay. much, Chad. Well,